Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight, we're gonna look at the Icon A5 upgraded version, which is a mod which introduced both updates to the avionics and the autopilot functionality, which was one of the, I would say, most requested features for the A5 mod or the A5 airplane, I should say. Uh, also, uh, on my channel, I got several questions about that. And luckily, Faro Steve has uh, now created this uh, mod. So this mod, again, adds some uh, new stuff to it. It adds the uh, new, I would say, new computer in the center, and it adds the autopilot functionality, as already mentioned. Keep in mind that the mod depends on the another mod, which is the working title one, which is the GX update, which is currently in development phase. So keep in mind that if you want to use this um, mod, you need to install the one also from working title. But since it's in development phase, you might hit some issues with it. So be aware of that. There's another remark. If you, for some reason, have the uh, UWA light mod, then you need to make a modification to the systems.cfg file. So what you need to do is go to the uh, community folder, go to the UWA light mod. Inside there you will find the systems.cfg. Go to the autopilot section and make the changes as recommended here. So if you want to, I would say, sponsor uh, the developer of this one, right, Faro Steve, then you can either uh, buy him a coffee or you can donate some money via PayPal. Uh, the mod can be downloaded from a uh, flightsim.to site, uh, so simply search for the, the add-on. I will also put a link in the uh, video description where you can directly download both the uh, Icon A5 and the uh, working title add-on. But enough talking now, uh, let's switch over to Flight Simulator and let's see uh, how it works and what the addition is. So currently we're at uh, Ameland Airport, which is an airport uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, you can see some, some stuff here uh, being displayed, uh, the PFD options. Uh, so CDI is currently set to the FMS, so all fine. And here you will have the section where you will see the autopilot functionality. Uh, currently it's not enabled, but if you click on one of those uh, boxes, you will have the autopilot flight control system open here. And that adds several uh, options, right? So the, the, simply, the most simple option is to simply switch on the autopilot or switch it off. And then you've got the flight director, the yaw damper and the level button. Uh, then we've got the heading, uh, navigation and approach here. So this is really for, I would say, the flight direction you're going. And you've got the altitude uh, related settings, the uh, EAS, the altitude and the virtual speed, right? So this one is more for, uh, say, the maximum speed, if I'm correct. Uh, on the bottom, you will find the nose up and nose down, which can be used uh, for the virtual speed option. So there are some things which you need to be aware of. And one of them is that the altitude is currently hard programmed to set to 1000 feet by default. If you want to change it, you need to fly to the correct altitude and then hit the altitude button again to set the new altitude. Uh, if you want to increase or decrease altitude once you're at a certain level, you will need to use the virtual speed option or the, yeah, the, ver no, the vertical speed, not the virtual speed, although it's flight simulator, right? Virtual. And a nose up and nose down button, which can be used to increase or decrease the altitude. Same thing is applicable for the heading option. The heading option can cannot be configured currently. So you need to uh, fly in the direction you want and then press the heading button, which will make sure that it's set to the correct heading. Uh, the navigation one works. So if you f configure a flight plan, it will uh, use uh, the flight plan you configured uh, correctly. It will fly via the waypoint you added to your uh, flight plan. So enough talking. So let's uh, go airborne. And let's see uh, how, uh, how the add-on works. Uh, so it's already, I would say, getting dark here. Okay, we'll park and brake. It's around uh, five o'clock currently at the Ameland Airport, right? You can see it's, uh, or it's hard to see, but it's, it's all grass. So we're, we're driving over, uh, let's say, a tarmac runway. So, let's go airborne. And once we're airborne, right, we can, uh, can switch on the autopilot, so let's do that. 
So let's uh, press the AP button, the FD button for Flight Director, and then switch on the altitude one. And as soon as we did that, right, you can see that the flight or the airplane three, starts climbing. Uh, you can see that sometimes uh, it takes a pretty steep, uh, I would say, uh, curve, but it will adjust itself uh, where necessary. So when we're almost at the altitude, right, uh, like all other airplanes, like with all other airplanes, you will see that the uh, altitude will start blinking, right, the target altitude, and then the airplane will uh, level off there, so it will uh, start decreasing the, the altitudes here, decreasing the climb rate, I should say. So all nice. So what if we want to make a turn? Well, we can simply turn the, the aircraft, right? So um, because as we, I just mentioned, uh, the uh, there's an issue with the uh, um, heading button, which doesn't allow you to, I would say, switch on or off, or sorry, I should say, change the heading. So if we're happy with the, the heading, so I now kind of for overwrite the, the autopilot, right? Then it will automatically switch off. So we're gonna switch on again, and then we're gonna press the uh, heading button in this case to ensure that we're keeping the correct heading. Um, so also we need to reset the throttling a bit. So there are some issues with these these mods, right? So not with the mod from uh, Faro Steve, but especially with with G three X, which which sometimes acts weird which results soon in weird stuff, right? So as you can see, we're, we're currently almost at the altitude, but I will show you some stuff when you're using the virtual speed, when you're pretty close to the altitude. It sometimes thinks, hey, I'm at the correct altitude already, right? So why should I change my altitude? And that will directly flip back to the altitude mode. Well, I'll show that in a few minutes. But there's a workaround also for that. So currently we're leveled up, right? So. Let me show you what happens, right? So we're gonna say, okay, I, I want to increase, but as you can see, because the altitude is still set to 1,000 feet, it directly switches back from uh, vert from uh, vertical speed directly to the altitude uh, button. So what we're gonna do is, or what you need to do is to override that, is you need to, let's say, climb a bit. So again, right, so the best thing is to, to switch off the autopilot simply pull back very hard then also uh, switch off the autopilot but I think uh, we're going for the uh, I would say more recommended way so then we're gonna switch on the autopilot again so as you can see it currently it tries to decrease right because it needs to go to it wants to go back to the uh, let's say already uh, the already pre-configured uh, altitude now we can simply set it to thousand feet or to plus 500 uh, feet, sorry. And we're gonna climb to, uh, let's say, shall we do? Um, 2000 feet, and once we're there, we will press the altitude button. That will update the altitude value here, and we'll level off the airplane. So, oh, nice. So, some windmills here. So, so the rest of the, the, the stuff, right? So if we, we hide the autopilot, you can, can click on it again. Um, has also been, been updated, so there are some nice features here. Uh, this part, I try to find out what, what the other options are, but there's, I would say, based on the procedures, active flight plan, and the common uh, navigation frequencies, nothing has changed a bit or a lot. Um, same thing is for the, the active flight plan, right? So if you press these buttons nearest and uh, direct to, these are not working yet. Um, so probably that will uh, will be done in, a, I would say, the next version, hopefully. But keep in mind, if you start using this mod, it's not yet finished. It's a work in progress. I would say, I think the developer did a great, great, or made a great start uh, by adding all these functionalities. So we're almost at 2000. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press uh, the alt button. And uh, you can see this is how you can do it, right? So you need to, when you're close to the altitude you want, 
then simply press the alt uh, alt button which will I would say set the new altitude as you can see here so to show that the navigation button works so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plan a flight so I'm gonna hide the autopilot and then I'm gonna say uh, we want to uh, add a destination uh, Echo Hotel Romeo Delta which is uh, Rotterdam Airport as you can see here so I'm gonna press enter destination uh, echo hotel romeo delta then press enter and then the flight sim crash so keep in mind that this also could happen in your case right so be aware of that that there are still some issues with the mods which could result in this behavior if you're i would say not wanting to to I'd say take these risks then don't inst install the uh especially the G gx1 because i think this one is causing uh, most issues to be honest uh if you hit issues with uh with this add-on then consider to uh sign in with uh, with github and report the issues here um uh, and you can see several people already uh, reported issues on there uh so make the people aware who are working on the add-ons because they're doing it for for free right so try to help them make their mod uh, successful so here's where this video ends i uh, hope you liked it um, if you liked it then consider using the like button if you've got questions or comments then use the comment box below the video and if you want to stay up to date about new videos then subscribe to my channel and we're climbing well pretty steadily right so we're uh, i think we're almost at 280 subscribers so let's see if we can uh, i would say get to 300 uh, before uh, the end of next week because i really want to make the climb to the thousand users which is the magic number or the magic milestone which we which is our initial milestone so let's see if we can 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 fix that in the coming months again hope you liked the video uh, Thanks for watching and see you next time.